So, morning prayer, Wednesday the 2nd of December. Where has the year gone? O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high shall, is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, <clears throat> open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compassion of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol or swore an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your head, O gates, <coughs> be lifted up, <coughs> sorry, lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 5 Listen to my words, O Lord, and hear my sighs. Listen to my cry for help, my God and King. I pray to you, O Lord, you hear my voice in the morning. At sunrise I offer my prayer and wait for your answer. You are not a God who is pleased with wrongdoing. You allow no evil in your presence. You cannot stand the sight of the proud. You hate all wicked people. You destroy all liars and despise violent, deceitful people. But because of your great love, I can come into your house. I can worship in your holy temple and bow down to you in reverence. Lord, I have so many enemies. Lead me to do your will. Make your way plain for me to follow. What my enemies say can never be trusted. They only want to destroy. Their words are flattering and smooth, but full of deadly deceit. Condemn and punish them, O God. May their own plots cause their ruin. Drive them out of your presence because of their many sins and their rebellion against you. But all who find safety in you will rejoice.
they can always sing for joy. Protect those who love you. Because of you they are happy, truly happy. You bless those who obey you, Lord. Your love protects them like a shield. Psalm 7 O Lord, my God, I come to you for protection. Rescue me and save me from all who pursue me, or else they will carry me off like a lion where no one can save me, and there they will tear me to pieces. O Lord, my God, if I have wronged anyone, if I have betrayed a friend or without cause done violence to my enemy, if I've done any of these things, then let my enemies pursue me and catch me. Let them cut me down and kill me and leave me lifeless on the ground. Rise in your anger, O Lord. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Rouse yourself and help me. Justice is what you demand. So bring together all the peoples around you and rule over them from above. You are the judge of all people. Judge in my favour, O Lord. You know that I am innocent. You are a righteous God and a judge, and judge our thoughts and desires. Stop the wickedness of evildoers and reward those who are good. God is my protector. He saves those who obey him. God is a righteous judge and always condemns the wicked. If they do not change their ways, God will sharpen his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. He takes up his deadly weapons and aims his burning arrows. See how wicked people think up evil. See how they plan trouble and practice deception. But in the traps they set for others, they themselves get caught. So they're punished by their own evil and are hurt by their own violence. I thank the Lord for his justice. I sing praises to the Lord, the Most High. Glory, Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 14 to the end of the chapter. Israel's holy God, the Lord who saves you, says, To save you, I will send an army against Babylon. I will break down the city gates and the shouts of her people will turn into crying. I am the Lord, your holy God. I created you, Israel, and I am your king. Long ago, the Lord made a road through the sea, a path through the swirling waters. He led a mighty army to destruction, an army of chariots and horses. Down they fell, never to rise, snuffed out like the flame of a lamp. But the Lord says, Do not cling to events of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. Watch for the new thing I'm going to do. It is happening already, you can see it now. I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. Even the wild animals will honour me, jackals and ostriches will praise me when I make rivers flow in the desert to give water to my chosen people. They are the people I made for myself and they will sing my praises. The Lord says, But you were tired of me, Israel. You did not worship me. You did not bring me your burnt offerings of sheep you did not honour me with your sacrifices. I did not burden you by demanding offerings or wear you out by asking for incense. You didn't buy incense for me or satisfy me with the fat of your animals. Instead, you burdened me with your sins. You wore me out with the wrongs you have committed. And yet, I am the God who forgives your sins. And I do this because of who I am. I will not hold your sins against you. Let us go to court. Bring your accusation. Present your case to prove you are in the right. Your earliest ancestors sinned. 
your leaders sinned against me, and your rulers profaned my sanctuary. So I brought destruction on Israel. I let my own people be insulted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lift, Lift up, up your, your voice, voice with, with strength. strength. O oh, herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, <coughs> and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 8. Then I saw a new heaven, and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth disappeared and the sea vanished. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared and ready like a bride dressed to meet her husband. I heard a loud voice speaking from the throne. Now God's home is with people. He will live with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them, and he will be their God. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, no more grief or crying or pain. The old things have disappeared. Then the one who sits on the throne said, And now I make all things new. He also said to me, Write this because these words are true and can be trusted. And he said, it is done. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. To anyone who is thirsty, I will give the right to drink from the spring of the water of life without paying for it. Those who win the victory will receive this from me. I will be their God and they will be my people, my children. But cowards, traitors, perverts, murderers, the immoral, those who practice magic, those who worship idols, and all liars. The place for them is the lake burning with fire and sulphur, which is the second death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the, for the night, night is far spent, spent and, and the day is at hand. hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for, for the, the night, night is far spent. spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for, for the, the day is, is at hand. At hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For, for the, the night, night is far spent, spent and, and the, the day, day is at hand. Look, Look towards, towards the east, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. 
Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, Charles, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Father, before this day is ended, we will see, hear, and be engaged with so many things, I'm sure. May every step that we take this day be guided by you. May every action we take this day be guided by your love and our service to you. May those with whom we encounter bask in the light of the light that is within us as we take the light of Christ into the presence of others may we be blessed and may we bless them Father this day we pray for all of our engagements encounters and happenings that we would show your love in all things Lord in your mercy hear our prayer father as the main headline this morning is the release of the Pfizer vaccine the promises of it being rolled out next week enough to vaccinate 20 million people starting with the elderly and most vulnerably vulnerable with NHS workers and care homes Lord, we thank you for this ray of hope. We thank you for the difference that this will make to so many people. We pray that the rest of us will be patient as we await more vaccines. That we won't begin to think this is the end, but we will realise this is just the beginning of the end. We still have several months. The logistics of rolling out the vaccine, of getting it actually into people's arms, of them having it twice. Lord, those are big things that need to be considered and will take time. Help us to contain our excitement, to be patient and to look with hope and to continue Lord to live as your people in the light knowing that the night is past and that the light of dawn came when your son entered our world and as we prepare ourselves during this Advent season to celebrate his coming 
may we continue to look for the second advent for that day when he will come again mm -hmm. and not forget the promise not forget the hope but live always righteously faithfully humbly active and ready for that day when he will come again Lord in your mercy Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the needs of all that will happen in the world this day. For the needs of the places where folly, conflict, wickedness, cruelty and worse will be found. Father, I thank you for someone who has at last stood, Gabriel Sterling, a Republican, a US state official in Georgia, who says that Trump is inciting violence and needs to stop as the nation becomes more divided, as Trump and some of his supporters are claiming it's been stolen the election and that they know that they've stolen it and we should stand as he turns around and tells various militia and other groups that they need to stand against the left wing at last somebody from the party has stood up and said something strongly but will he listen probably not but will others listen? Hopefully so. And Father, as we look at all that is happening with Trump, we look at Belarus as the stories of police officers who have left the country, crossed borders for their own protection, no longer willing to stand by silently and oppose the wrongs. Father, for a nation that is in turmoil, we pray for a proper resolution that the man at the top would realise that he needs to leave. And in Africa, Nigeria is still seeing problems. There are still massacres and wickedness happening. In Ethiopia, there are still conflicts. There are refugees from so many countries across Africa looking for food, looking for shelter. People still grieve their dead from Armenia and Azerbaijan. Father, we pray for peace in the world this day. We pray for justice, for mercy and for humility. We pray that your church would stand and be a voice for that change would make a difference by who we are and what we say yes, and that what we say is that which you have commanded us to say mm. Lord for the inactivity of good people evil happens may we your people become active that evil may fail Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we pray for Africa, we think of the other virus that has been so prevalent in that continent that has taken so many lives and blighted so many lives. And we thank you for the news this morning, Lord, for a flavoured HIV drug for children, an antiviral to help treat over 1.5 million children who live with HIV. Father, 
Father, we thank you for the miracles of modern medicine, for the steps that are taken. For the things that you enable us to do. Mm. Lord, we pray for the efficacy of this drug. We pray that it would be made available at low cost or no cost yes. to those most in need. Father, we pray that the coronavirus and COVID pandemic would bring a change in the pharmaceutical industry, mm. that Big Pharma would not be allowed to hold the world to ransom for the sake of financial gain, that they would be made to, to work for the good of all people everywhere not just for those who can afford it. Mm. Lord, we pray for those at the top, that their hearts would be changed, that their priorities would be changed, that there would be a willingness to help rather than just make money. Father, we pray for that, ch that change around our world. That we would move towards a more compassionate, a more humanitarian future as we come out of the pandemic, as we learn the lessons. Lord, may they go deep. May they bring fundamental change. Mm. Lord, in your mercy, hear Give our prayer. prayer. And as the government caution us to not think the end is nigh at this time, as they call upon us to distance, to wash our hands, to wear our masks, Father, we pray for those this day who need a touch from you. Mm. And Father, I pray for those this morning who mourn the loss of loved ones, who will see loved ones still leave this life naturally, normally, but also abnormally through this virus as we head towards 60,000 official deaths. We pray that the vaccine will be rolled out well and will bring with it the change that we wish, we desire. And Lord, we pray for those this day who pray for loved ones. And we pray for Ray's family, that you would be with them that as another sibling heads towards the door, the remaining siblings would know your presence, your peace. We pray for those we know who are waiting treatment, those who are having tests and examinations, and we think of Maureen Williams, and we think of Graham. And we pray for their families, for them, for their mental and spiritual well-being. And Lord, that in every case, as tests, as waiting lists are before them, they would be healed, whether it be by the actions of man or by your hand, Lord, we never worry. But we pray that not just physical healing, but spiritual healing, that that inner peace will be with all this day who are in need and suffer. We pray for those we know with cancer, especially those who have been pronounced as terminal, and as they 
slowly make their journey with families praying and watching and feeling the impotence that that situation brings. We pray for them, we pray for the work of the hospices. We pray for those who work in hospitals and care homes, for those who work in places where potential for infection is found. Lord, we lift to you all those for whom we pray this day, for our ageing relatives, for those who mercifully are just getting older and feeling the effects of that. We pray for ourselves. Asking you that it would be God in all circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, hear our our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that we may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Our Father Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Have a good day, guys. Stay safe, stay warm, and... Remember, if there's anything we can do to help, we're here. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.